When Paul Walker tragically passed away in November 2013, his family, friends, and fans were completely devastated. Not only was it sad to lose such a good person, but it was also unclear how the Fast Saga could go on without him. This was uh, unlike anything we could have imagined. Let's see how Paul's brothers were confused while playing him in the seventh film. Portray your brother who died five months ago, how Vin Diesel recently honored his memory, and how they can bring Brian back into the franchise. Even years after the tragedy, Vin Diesel still couldn't speak about Paul without crying. People will say, you know, just move on. But the relationships in that franchise are so strong and the brotherhood so real. He couldn't just forget about it because the two of them became brothers in real life. Diesel even recalled how after he died, Walker's mother said to the actor that she was sorry. Vin asked her why she said that to him of all people, and she replied that it was because he had lost his other half. This was indeed true. After working together for over 10 years, Paul and Vin developed a special bond. They were there for each other in good times and bad. For example, there was a point when Diesel felt stressed and exploited because of his busy schedule. And what made matters even worse for the actor was his mother's indifference to his feelings. That's when Paul came to help. He understood his friend better than anyone else because he was in a similar situation, and he also took his time to talk to Vin's mother and help her understand her son better. For that, Diesel will forever be grateful. So it's not surprising that the loss of his friend was one of the darkest moments in the actor's life. Spend 15 years going from being a nobody to somebody with a brother, and then one day he's gone. What made his pain even worse was that they still had to shoot quite a few scenes with Paul's character Brian in Fast and Furious 7. Diesel commented that, even though he'd been acting all his life, he never knew how to mourn someone and pretend that the same person was next to you on the set. Jordana Brewster, who plays Brian's sweetheart, Mia, was also shattered because of the loss, since she always had a special place in her heart for him. She even shared one spicy detail about him at the F9 premiere. From four to like seven, I had a crush on him. The actress never told him, but she's sure that, on some level, he knew. As Mia, Jordana wore bracelets on the set that had three names on them, Brian, as well as Olivia and Jack, the name of their two on-screen kids. After filming, the actress took those bracelets home to keep them as a memory. Brewster also recently recalled how Paul made her feel completely safe while shooting one of her most intense scenes in the franchise. In Fast Five, they both had to jump from quite a considerable height, and Jordana was scared to do it. All Paul had to do was say, I got you to her, and she felt better. And, and there was no way to like not feel safe and comfortable with mm -hmm. Paul, and I think that's the energy that everyone felt. So yeah, he made me feel very safe. So when he was gone, that special energy was missing from the set. Paul's untimely passing meant one more thing. The Fast Saga crew had to think about what to do with the seventh movie. After taking a five-month break, they considered several options. One of them was to stop filming completely and not release the film, or at least make it the last film of the franchise. The saga's longtime writer, Chris Morgan, shared that they were seriously considering this option, but they soon realized that they had to honor Paul and continue his legacy. That didn't only mean finishing the seventh film, but also making more movies. They knew that Paul would want that. Is something that him and I used to fantasize about and talk about a decade ago. So the next choice was to either kill off his character or keep him alive. The Fast crew quickly decided that he should live on in the franchise, partly because seeing Brian die would make the loss all the more devastating for everyone. At that point, the actor's brothers stepped in to shoot some of the scenes as stand-ins for Paul. A lot of CGI was used, as well as the scenes Paul had filmed himself. But filming Brian's scenes without Paul on the set was harder than everyone thought it would be. Diesel wasn't the only one who felt devastated pretending that his friend was alive. Tyrese Gibson, the actor behind Roman, also said it was one of the hardest things he'd ever had to do. He shared that the main thing they all struggled to understand was, what's Fast and Furious without Paul? But then they realized that they had to keep on filming, because they could become each other's therapists. So we made sure that we were there for each other in a real way, Gibson shared. So eventually, they came up with a moving and bittersweet finale that showed Brian going off into the sunset. But does it mean that we'll never see him again in the franchise? Or at least learn more about his new life away from Dom and the crew? After all, even though the actor is no more, his character is still alive in the Fast universe, and he's still part of the family. So it would be weird if Dom's crew never told the fans how he was doing, while everyone else was saving the world over and over again. And here's the catch. There's actually an idea to bring Brian back in one of the subsequent parts of the saga. Even Paul's brothers are willing to play him once again, although the experience Caleb and Cody Walker had when they did it the last time wasn't so good, because it was pretty weird. Portray your brother who 
died five months ago playing another character in a movie. Yeah, that does sound pretty mind-blowing. Neither of the brothers have even watched the seventh Fast and Furious film since the premiere. Even after all these years, it's too hard for them to see themselves portraying Paul. But they said that maybe, one day when their kids grow up a little bit, they will watch it all together. And be like, hey look, this is your Uncle Paul, who's the greatest guy in the world, and here we are, you know, all the like, you know, portray him and finish up this movie for him. And but, however hard it was for them to overcome their brother's sudden demise, Caleb and Cody understood what he meant to the franchise, and they think that it would be perfect to make a cameo where Brian arrives at a critical moment and saves everyone. That's my dream, you know, and I hope we get to do that. And they also want it to be tasteful so that this scene becomes a testament of how great a person their brother was. He was he was the real deal, the real car guy, you know, and like in his absence, I, you know, I think it's lost its way. Yes, no one can argue that the Fast Saga has never been the same since Paul passed. Although we always feel his presence in the films, it would be logical to actually see him once again before the saga comes to an end. I mean, when Dom gathers everyone for a classic Toretto cookout with BBQ and beers for the last time in the franchise, Brian just has to be there, right? It would be a perfect ending for the saga. Without the person who built the franchise alongside Vin Diesel, the conclusion won't be complete. And while we're waiting to find out what kind of cameo the Fast crew will make for Brian, let's find out how we can also see his daughter in the saga. Vin Diesel recently hinted that Meadow Walker might join the cast in the future. Here's what the actor said in a conversation with E! News. I would not count anything out. Let me just, without giving you all of the secrets of Fast 10, let's just say nothing's ruled out. Well, sure, he didn't want to spoil anything, but this answer certainly implies the high possibility of Meadow appearing in the franchise. Of course, we have no idea what role she might play there, but we can guess that it's going to be meaningful. After all, the girl is quite close to Diesel as he's her godfather. She takes good care of me. <laughs> she even called him family in a recent Instagram post. And she also got to continue her father's legacy in many ways. Knowing how keen her father was on charity, she launched the Paul Walker Foundation that aims to serve as an enduring light of Paul's unique spirit. I wanted to start this foundation because I want to share that piece of him with the world, Meadow explained. And Diesel, in his turn, carries on his friend's legacy through the Fast Saga. I always feel like I'm continuing the franchise in his honor, Vince once said. The actor also recently disclosed that he never believed how passionate he could be about making those movies, but making them in Paul's honor compels him to do it. Vin pays tribute to his friend in one way or another all the time. For example, before going to the premiere of F9, Diesel posted his photo alongside Paul and captioned it, you will be there in spirit. And the actor also shared that it means a lot to him that they started the franchise together. Alongside us starting the franchise, we started a brotherhood. Our brotherhood will outlast the franchise, Diesel said. Fast and Furious is celebrating a brotherhood that's eternal. Yes, this loss still hurts, and we still miss you, Paul. Rest in peace.